Am I the asshole? For embarrassing my cousin and getting us kicked out of a restaurant? I f don't have kids yet. I never really wanted them growing up but I figure I'll eventually have kids in the future once I get my life together. My cousin Sarah has two bad behaved kids from a previous relationship and a newborn baby with her boyfriend MJ. Last night my mother, sister, Sarah and I went to a sushi restaurant and this was my first time having sushi. After we ordered, I had a hard time using the chopsticks. My cousin started obnoxiously laughing. The waiter came over and asked me if I wanted training wheels which is a little plastic item that attaches to the chopsticks and helps you hold them in place. My cousin laughed and said sorry about her, she constantly embarrasses herself and does. I just gave her the side eye and put the training wheels on. When it was time to order desserts, her boyfriend MJ finally joined us claiming that he was busy. She went on to tell him how stupid and slow I was for not knowing how to use chopsticks and how the waiters and everyone around now know that I'm an embarrassment. My mom asked her what her problem was and she goes on a rant about how I'm so embarrassing and it's no wonder I'm jealous of her being a mother and no one wants to have kids with me. I finally had enough. I said I don't have kids because I don't want them to come out like your rude pieces of shit and you're calling me an embarrassment. Didn't MJ just have a baby on you with his wife? Your baby literally has a sibling a week apart from her. You probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftovers. I guess when she was attacking me it was fine because everyone turned on me. It got so loud that management had to get involved. Sarah was screaming and crying, MJ was yelling at me, and my mom and sister were berating me for being mean. Management brought the bill and told us to please pay it and leave. My mom paid the entire bill but my sister said I'm an R for embarrassing Sarah and getting us kicked out and how she's probably going through postpartum depression. Now, I'd if I went too far seeing as she's probably going through some post-baby stress. Am I the asshole? As someone who has suffered from severe PPD, I don't recall being mean as a snake being a fucking symptom. Info wait is her boyfriend married? Did he leave his wife for your cousin? That's on a whole other level if either is the case, she deserves to always feel embarrassed. If you really said the chopsticks burn, off the cuff and in real time you'll never be the R to me. You probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftovers. Emotional damage lol. Not the asshole, if she had just kept it light and jokey about being unable to use chopsticks, then your response would have been over the top. She randomly linked you struggling with chopsticks to not having children which is pathetic and your response was literally turning a mirror on her. Why do so many people with kids think every single non-parent envies them and is jealous? I have kids, but I can 100 understand anyone not choosing to. It's not that my kids are nightmares, they are all average and normal but to pretend being a parent isn't the most body changing, relationship challenging, expensive, exhausting, worrying, thankless, stressful choice one can make is insanity. You probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftovers. You are my new spirit animal. Not the asshole. You were seriously provoked. Not the asshole. Sarah was screaming and crying. Because you finally had enough, and you stopped letting her bully you. Bullies can't handle the tables being turned on them. If your family turns on you over her, then they are her flying monkeys. Not the asshole. Sarah certainly is, though, and so is your family who sided with the bully. Not the asshole. It needed to be said. You were literally defending yourself after being berated all night. Yes, she probably is going through postpartum but that still doesn't excuse the fact that she was being cruel. You shouldn't have to put up with that. Especially since you were just trying to have quality time with your family. I can understand it seeming mean, as some of what you said was zero but it sounded like she needed a reality check. Not the asshole. If you keep poking the bear, don't be surprised if they attack she had what was coming for her tbh. 
Oh and how did you like the sushi? You probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftovers. Skull, smiley face, not the asshole. She was being nasty and rude. I want to take lessons from you on snappy comebacks. I can't imagine how this dynamic began, when it was okay for her to be miserable to you through the entire meal. You did go too far, and I am going to go with not the asshole, but I am starting to wonder if maybe some people need someone to be TA to them. You going off on her doesn't change the fact that she was an asshole to you the whole dinner. Not the asshole. Sarah is. I hope she learned an important lesson don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Not the asshole if you can't take shit don't dish it out. Natar you have to stand up for yourself. Don't let people be dicks and get away with it. I wish I was there to witness and cheer you on up. Not the asshole. Cousin fucked around and found out. Not the asshole. Asian here, you don't even eat sushi with chopsticks, it's a traditional finger food lol as for cousin, hopefully she'll rethink about dissing you next time and for mom and go, depression isn't an excuse to shit on people. Sarah fucked around and found out. Not the asshole. This is hysterical. They insult and berate you all through dinner, then have the unmitigated gall to get all upset when you give them a little taste of it. You are an inspiration, by the way. The eating leftovers remark was truly a jewel. Not the asshole. Not the asshole you may have went too far but she went too far first. All's fair. Not the asshole. That leftovers line is epic, and you deserved a free meal with a fork training wheel chopsticks whatever utensil you want for that. Queen, crown. Not the asshole. You were defending yourself. Go North Carolina with that cousin of yours, she's horrible. Not the asshole honestly the way to who Sarah made the sorry she's constantly embarrassing herself and us comment too probably talked shit about her all night to their co-workers, especially after you tried to stand up for yourself and everyone called you out for being mean. If I'd been that server I would have absolutely been in the back rooting for you. Don't start shit, won't be no shit. Lil John. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and if I'd been there I'd have probably applauded you and offered to drive you home if you were depending on one of those garbage humans for a ride. Bless your heart, honey. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Not the asshole. And you probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftovers is pretty damned good when you had no time to rehearse. Natar. Your cousin is a prime example of FCK around and find out. She should have kept her mouth shut. Not the asshole. And if I had been a patron there at the time I would have been all about the drama and the free entertainment, so don't listen to the pearl clutches here. You probably made the night of a lot of people especially with that chopsticks line. Not the asshole. Massively petty, maybe, but if Sarah is going to dish it out because she's unhappy with her multiple attempts to lock in a man by having a baby by him are not your problem, and needs to get it back in spades. Not the asshole your cousins needed a good verbal slap upside the head for years. It about time it happened. She doesn't get to play victim because she can't handle what she dished out. Not the asshole. Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Maybe she will keep her rude snide comments to herself next time. Not the asshole. Sarah can dish shit, but can't take it. Maybe she needs training wheels. Good for you don't let anyone make you feel bad for learning a new skill. Bravo. Good for you for sticking up for yourself. Obvi. Not the asshole. There are so many people in this world who build themselves up by pushing other people down. In this instance, you refuse to be pushed down. I'm proud of you and hope that I could be strong enough to do the same in that situation. Not the asshole is her BF Nick Cannon? Not the asshole, and that was amazing. I can't believe it. She should have kept quiet with all that baggage, lol plus clearly you weren't lying I guess she and her BD couldn't handle their truth. Not the asshole. 
Bullies are always surprised when someone calls them on their bullshit. Tell your sister and the rest of the enablers that they had the opportunity to step in and shut Sarah down and chose not to and you were tired of her nonsense. Good for you. Not the asshole. If you don't poke the bear, you won't get the claws. None of the embarrassment that you caused would have happened if your cousin didn't decide to be holier than thou. This wasn't good-natured ribbing. This was outright bullying. Bullies don't like being bullied back, and they love to play the victim when they are. You probably learned how to use chopsticks by eating his wife's leftover. X200B. That's fucking amazing. Not the asshole she was poking at you and being obnoxious. Not the asshole for provocation, but after that line, who cares? You win the internet today. ESH. Mildly, you for taking it as far as you did and not just skipping dinner with Sarah or leaving when she started I'm guessing that this isn't the first time she was an R. I don't blame you for being upset, but I think it would have been better to leave. Ultimately, Sarah was the big R in this one. Your mother and sister are R's for not having your back and making excuses for Sarah. Man, you should have given Sarah an ass whoopin with those chopsticks. She needed to learn to keep her mouth shut. Everyone piling on you are ours. You're not the asshole and that biatch deserved it. I'm sure this actually happened. Not the asshole. At first I was thinking ESH, but really, she pushed you to breaking point. Postpartum stress doesn't entitle you to treat everyone around you like crap. Not the asshole. You were provoked and you rightfully stood up for yourself. 1010 come back. Not the asshole spill that tea girl. Not the asshole love it. Legendary you did great, go North Carolina with her she's worthless. Not the asshole.